hello guys so in today's video i'm going to to show you how i make my soft layered chapatis uh, with beans so karibu sana my name is mona and if you are new here please consider subscribing thank you guys for watching i love using a jab wheat flour so yeah so before that if you take a bowl for your flour i don't measure i measure with my eyes and then i'll add a little bit of sugar and salt yeah and then i mix them together and guys the secret of making the chapati is soft uh, you add a little bit of oil to your wheat flour which will result in soft and tasty chapatis as the oil lends conductivity to the flour it will help the chapatis heat up faster when on the pan without losing a lot of moisture I added a lot of water so if this happens to you you can add a teaspoon of flour wheat flour bit by bit until it, it's not this sticky It really took time, but you have to be patient. You can continue adding the wheat flour bit by bit. I've used my hand, so if it's still sticky, for me, I applied um, the cooking part, the one I'm using, and it started to form a dough. Yeah. After kneading, it is now ready and before that I love kneading like this and then now I can put it the dough to rest for 20 to 30 minutes yeah, aside and this is really important guys because after you knead the dough cover it with a damp cloth or a damp paper towel if you have and let it rest for 20 to 30 minutes yes they make this makes the rolling easier and so much better we have so much better your parties so guys as we let the dough to rest for the 20 to 30 minutes I decided to cook um, maragwe that is beans yeah we love it with beans or you can have it with pojo yeah pojo na kizungu I don't remember so you can have it with any dish you, of your choice uh, as we love me especially I love it beans chapati yeah. and yeah, this is how I cook I guess I've shown you earlier on. it was a last minute meal that's why the bee the, the beans are hard I had to put hot water as you can see yeah. so my 20 minutes are over we let it cook and then now we we'll start with rolling the dough so 
this is another secret I do so that the chapatis will be soft and layered I cut into small pieces and then um, I'll start with the four of them and then we'll continue later so this is how you do you grill them and then you apply the cooking fat or the cooking oil of your choice and then after applying you fold it like a paper that's how that's how they remain soft this is my mother's recipe she's the one who showed me this yeah you can see i apply a small so just a little bit of oil not too much that this is how I do it as you can see on the video So I'll do the same process to all of them and then I'll start Kuchoma. My beans are ready. Yeah. Oh, the aroma. I'm now hungry just by watching this. So for me while making the chapatis, I like burning both sides before applying oil, like the way I'm doing on the video, yeah, that is how I do it. So please subscribe, like, share. Comment down below on how you make the chapatis also and what you call it in your language. Yeah. For us, we just add a chapati yeah, or chapatis in Swahili. In India, it's roti. I guess they don't apply, but they apply butter if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So please guys, comment down below. Leave a sweet comment. Yeah. It got burnt a bit. I was I need to back yes. So guys that is basically how I, I make my chapatis, I'm not a professional but I tried so 
you can see my chapatis are very soft yes. bon appetit open the video bye